Gravitational waves were predicted by Einstein almost 100 years ago. A well, gravitational wave is a ripple in the fabric of space and time. It's produced somewhere in the distant universe and travels across the universe. When any massive object moves, it's changing the nature of space-time. That's what Einstein told us. So you have a motion that stretches space in one direction and compresses space in the other direction. Nobody really believed at the time of the prediction that you could ever detect them because the size of the effect is so small. It was what we call a chirp, and it was strong. Everybody thought it was a fluke, it was too good. And I thought, my God, this looks like it's it. Oh my gosh, this is, this is real. It took us 25 years and two detectors to finally detect a gravitational wave. We have interferometers, one in Hanford, Washington, one in Livingston, Louisiana, to detect the stretching and compressing of space. We literally look for changes in the space-time distance in our instruments as the gravitational wave goes by. And the gravitational wave pushes them together and apart by one one-thousandth the diameter of the nucleus of an atom. No wonder it's taken so long <laughs> to pull this off. However, what's even more remarkable about this is what we detected. We have observed gravitational waves from two black holes forming a larger black hole. For the first time, two black holes spiraling together, coalescing, merging, creating wild oscillations, a storm in the fabric of space and time. They're moving at the velocity of light, damn near that velocity. 30 solar masses moving that fast. I mean, they're putting out incredible amounts of energy. And when they collide with one another, they produce a bigger black hole, but they also produce gravitational waves. And in that process, about three solar masses just disappears and goes into gravitational waves. Oh, it's going to be amazing. We have always said that this is going to be uh, a field called gravitational wave astronomy. Gravitational waves carry information that you can't get from any other way. A supernova, two neutron stars colliding, even the Big Bang itself, the beginning of the universe, all produce gravitational waves. This first detection by LIGO is the very first step. It's just the start of the story nature is about to tell us. I would love to see Einstein's face. I mean, he would have been as dumbfounded as we are. What does that mean to say we heard two black holes? Right, so you can literally, it's like a, a CD player, you can literally put a plug into the detector. All objects with mass would warp the fabric of space-time. If their mass is great enough, those distortions could cause other objects to fall into them. This is what we call gravity. Einstein also predicted that these distortions could travel across the universe, stretching and squeezing space and time as they move. Later, researchers realized that if two particularly giant masses, like two black holes, are trapped in each other's gravitational field, they should start to spiral in towards each other, and so would the distortions they make to space-time. This would create gravitational waves which would travel away from the objects like ripples in a pond. This is a conceptually simple piece of kit that aims to measure the distortion in space-time caused by gravitational waves. LIGO works by splitting a laser beam and sending it in two directions. The beams travel precisely the same distance down long vacuum tubes. They're reflected off mirrors, and then they come back and recombine. The light waves of each laser beam are made to exactly line up so that they cancel each other out and nothing will reach the light detector at the end. 
The only thing that you need to grasp is that were a gravitational wave to roll by, it would squeeze and stretch the arms of the detector and that would have a measurable impact on that interference pattern, causing it to shift. And it's just that kind of shift in the interference pattern that the LIGO team has now observed the first direct detection of gravitational waves. And this is big.